Hi, it's Mickey Bond from Artful Soul in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where we're still not doing any in-person classes. So here's another fun mixed media project you can do at home. Mermaid Garden features a black and white background contrasted by color images of sea life with added highlights made by permanent marker. The underwater scene is bordered by lovely Thai banana paper in robin's egg blue. Sea life and anemones overlap some of the blue border, suggesting movement and an entryway. Take down the edges of your canvas and apply a thin layer of gloss gel to the black and white underwater scene you chose for your mermaid garden. Apply the same gel over the paper and let dry. Meanwhile, you can cut out your mermaid, seahorse, and fish imagery and arrange the pieces on your canvas till you find a composition you like. More on compositions later. So, we're going to use edging scissors to create a frame of Thai banana paper around the black and white underwater scene. And we're going to paste those strips down and cover the surfaces of that paper with the same gel medium. Don't worry too much about matching edges because this kind of paper blends together well. It's fibrous and covers up a lot of, um, you know, if you cut the paper slightly wrong or don't match it perfectly. I'm talking about the sides mostly. Um, here you'll see I'm using the edging scissors. It's a Victorian style. And I am matching those up. That's why I'm cutting both ends. So we're gonna glue that down just like we glue everything. I'm using a gel this time, not a liquid acrylic because uh, the paper's a little bit thicker. So this is where another copy of the imagery comes in handy because I'm gonna cut out some more of those anemones and overlap the border with them. See, I'm taking one up here and making some fine adjustments. Um, it's up to you what part of the imagery you want to have overlap the border, or if you don't want to have any, that's okay too. So here I'm finishing up the sides of the canvas before going on to uh, add color to the imagery. I'm using some fine strips and I think it looks really nice all covered with paper like this. So I'd like to talk a little bit about composition here. Um, coming up, you'll see three images of three different compositions using the same background and all the same pieces. Uh, you can look to see where I put the clownfish in each of them or the little seahorse. Um, I'm trying to emphasize movement here and I'm trying to create a scene that tells a story. So that's why I might have it look like certain sea life are talking to each other or leaving the scene or coming in. So once you've attached all your imagery to the canvas and everything's nice and dry, it's time to use the permanent markers and add highlights of color. Uh, these markers, um, the big ones are opaque and they're actually like an opaque paint marker. So what's fun about that is that you can layer different colors of marker and I do some of that here. I go back in with different colors or I wait for a certain layer like on the yellow fish there to dry and come back. You'll see I come back and I put spots on it. So um, experiment with those markers and use different nib sizes so that you get a variation of marks. Here I'm going in and highlighting some of the black and white and re-outlining certain things. Once you've done everything you want to do with colored markers, you're going to reapply yet another coat of gel. This is after the markers are completely dry, by the way. Uh, they are permanent, but if you go in there too soon, they will smudge. I think one of the most fun things about this project is actually finding the imagery. I have created an album for you on the Artful Soul Facebook page, and the album's called Mickey's Collage Elements. You can find there all the images I've selected for these projects, but I'd encourage you to go online and find your own images so that you can take them Enlarge them, shrink them, move them around, do whatever you want to do. It really is fun. Well, that's it for today. I'd love to see what you guys make of this project, how you find your imagery, what you do with it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and consider a donation. Thanks. Take care. Stay safe.